Hey, what's good, y'all? We're on the road to 2,000 subs, so every sub matters. Every like matters, so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's talk about Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 260. Let's go. So, this chapter is really, really basic, but it's really, really not. I mean, everybody always put their chapter reviews out and whatever spoke about it, but I'm going to give my little input, because y'all know this is what I do. I do things the day of or the day before, but... Toto is back. Let's get that out of the way. Toto is back. Our favorite schizophrenic is back in the fold. Okay, his new boogie woogie is fire. Basically, is a kid's toy paddle. We go um, paddle a paddle ball game, and that's how he activates boogie woogie. Um, he puts the binding vowel on it so that he can move. He could swap up to 50 people, which is crazy in itself. But like I said, this chapter is way more action based. It's just describing how Toto and Yuji do work very, very well together, even though they've only fought twice together. If you really sit there and think about it outside of training, like as in like getting combinations and stuff down from what I see in the chapter, they are still flawless only after fighting two, technically two villains together, which is kind of amazing in itself. All right. But let's talk about it man he's back i'm honestly kind of fucked up about it i really didn't want gojo to come back but if gojo do come back i mean if you might as well bring everybody you might as well bring nobara back nanami well he's completely vink um he's been you know basically eviscerated he's he's not coming back but if nobara doesn't come back and only gojo comes back i feel like it, it it's this is not a good look i mean we're at the end of the series I understand Gege at the moment is I, I feel like he's doing some fucking type shit like this is like I, I really wish that this was like better executed Gojo's return if this is Gojo because we don't really know but everything implies that it's Gojo right Yuta didn't even come back yet which is kind of fucking crazy even though Yuta has one of the best reverse curse techniques in the series he should be back but like I said, my issue is that this is if you if you're going to bring back Gojo, you might as well just bring back everybody else that we're waiting to see again. You might as well bring back Nobara and might as well bring back Yuta. Like this is kind of I I really do feel like Gojo Return is kind of end fucking up the end of the series. Not not for all. This is just my opinion. Like like why bring him? He should have if he was going to come back. He should have came back after the battle. The, the, I feel like this, you're just stomping on the main character's development and moment to sit here and do this with himself. Do this, like, this This is the final battle. We have to see Yuji's domain expansion. We, we, we kind of need that. Like, we kind of need Yuji's domain expansion. Like, it's, you already gave him his own version of Cleave and Dismantle. Maybe his own version of Furnace, where it's like... I don't know, maybe like a, a fire beam, something more, you know, instead of a fucking nuke, maybe it's something more straightforward, like the character, but it, this is not really a good look, in my opinion, that Gojo is coming back, and we still have other characters that's been sidelined that aren't back yet, even though the damage that they took was less than Gojo. Gojo got cut in half. Yuta just got from what we see Yuta just got split like we didn't see his body cut in half Yuta should be back by now not then that's just my opinion and this was a great chapter Yuji landed another black fat another black flash like we, we figured out Toto is overpowered that, that is great Toto he that the, the black Flash is one of the best characters in the series you're bringing back all these characters but it's, it, it's just taking away from Yuji as a sorcerer at this point this is his battle against basically his evil twin this is his way of breaking generational curses breaking his curses and it's kind of like i said this is going to be a short video but this is like i said gojo fans I'm, i know y'all happy that he's back but as in terms of the story where do we go from here because we've already seen Gojo can not see the world cutting slash. That's why he got cut in half. So is he going to come back and be able to see it? Then you might as well just have Gojo fight Sukuna for the rest of the series. It makes no sense. I'm not a big fan of it, but 
it's the end of the series. Sometimes this is what happens with mangaka, man, mangaka that they just kind of just rush the endings or they just fuck it. This is what, this feels like a fuck it type of ending right now that's going on, and I'm not too fond of it. But hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned to the next one. Peace.